Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is our another lab activity video and in this video we are going to prepare a polymer. The name of the polymer is urea formaldehyde resin. When this urea reacts with formaldehyde, the reaction looks like this and the product which we obtained from this experiment is looks like this, the end of the reaction. So first we will going to discuss the reactions involved in this experiment then i will show you the experiment okay so let's start with the reactions involved in the experiment here is the urea and this urea on reaction with one mole of formaldehyde so formaldehyde is here is the cho which is known as formaldehyde group and if no other carbon is there other than this cho group then that is termed as formaldehyde. So this is the formula of formaldehyde. Now this formaldehyde reacts either of the nitrogen, either this nitrogen or with this nitrogen and we will get an addition product. So here you can see initially it is NH2 and on reaction with formaldehyde we get NH. So one H is attached to this O. Okay, CH2 here you can see CHH CH2O and this H comes here so CH2OH if we are having the ratio of urea to formaldehyde higher than 1 is to 1 then we get this type of product here we get reaction on one nitrogen but here in this case with two for formaldehyde molecules it reacts on both the nitrogens so here again we get ch2oh the name of the products when it reacts with one is to one ratio then we get monomethylol urea and when it reacts on both the nitrogen then that is dimethylol urea ol stands for oh groups right oh now this reaction goes like this the next slide we are going to use this dimethylol urea show you how we are going to write this so here if you are find it confusing how i written like this so i'll just highlighted this this molecular formula this is in the horizontal way and here i just written it in the vertical manner so you can see nh nh p double bond o nh and this CH2OH group it is attached to N and again this is CH2OH group it is again attached to CH2OH group. Here I have written it like this and I repeat this molecule 2-3 times for it, our convenience. Okay, So here this OH is in the vicinity of this H. So this reacts like this. Similarly, here is the reaction site, here is again the reaction reaction site and reaction site and on the terminals. If we increase the number of molecules, we have number of sites. So from this removal of water molecules takes place and this removal of water molecules is termed as condensation. After removing this water molecule from these of the these sites, what we get? Here you can see this H is removed, this OH is removed. So we have a new bond between N and C. So this is what? This is urea formaldehyde resin and this is cross linked polymer. So here it seems like this. Now I will show you the experiment. So this is the aim of the experiment to prepare urea formaldehyde. It is resin. This is the urea, its gas number, its molecular formula, and see how it is. Now we are going to weigh actually 2.5 grams. We need to weigh for this experiment. It is about 2.5.
to prepare what are the apparatus which we require beaker glass roll funnel the funnel to so four and this is the formaldehyde solution we have taken 5 ml of we have taken 5 ml of formaldehyde it is little higher than that on here you can see the ur looks like This is what we weighed, two point five gram. We transfer it to the beaker. This is thirty seven to forty one percent weight by volume of formaldehyde solution. Now we are adding this formaldehyde solution to the urea and try to dissolve it. Here I have added. is now completely soluble the temperature of while we are dissolving this urea to the formaldehyde it is an endothermic reaction so we are adding h2so4 to this urea formaldehyde solution so it initiates the reaction and here you can see the slurry formation of the polymer takes place and you can see how it look like let's see now we will remove it so we will wash it with the help of water as you can see the fumes of h2so4 and here i again show you the reaction so mono methylol urea gives us linear polymer and dimethyl urea gives us cross linked polymer and here is the product which you can see here it's very beautiful this is a two step reaction the formation of methylol urea occurs in the basic medium whereas this condensation process occurs in the acidic medium i hope you find this video helpful as well as interesting so don't forget to subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up thank you all thanks for watching